she met the individual uh, before uh, New Year's. Basically, uh, the suspect had went and uh, was living with her, from what I understand, uh, with her. And during the course of this, the suspect was uh, intimidating her to the point that he didn't allow her or he was controlling, I should say, her phone calls, her movements. He's a, a, a white male, goes by the name of Jonathan Burnett. Um, he has a resident that, from what we understand, of Cocoa Beach, Florida. So it was uh, graphic, some of the things that uh, he had her do uh, that was witnessed by her uh, juvenile son. Uh, sometime during the course of while the uh, false imprisonment was taking place, he basically uh, made her uh, suck on body parts as well as uh, looked the uh, toilet. The victim basically made the uh, friend aware that what restaurant she was at. Our officers responded over to the restaurant in Melbourne, over to the, the uh, Texas Roadhouse, did a short investigation, found out what vehicle uh, the trio were riding in, and waited outside for them. Once they uh, came outside, the officer approached the uh, victim the male and the juvenile then entered the vehicle, at which time the female was able to tell us what had transpired over the past four or five days. It's my understanding that uh, he was uh, arrested yesterday for um, uh, sexual abuse and he's being arraigned today. He goes before a judge today. Uh, he has no bond at this time.